This Thanks Grilling series, it's going to be huge. You can't miss out on this. Not this one. Shoot yeah, those Kingsford pellets provide the best flavor. Oh yeah. Let's get it started. Hey America, how are you guys doing? I'm Chef John and I'm so excited to be creating one of my favorite holiday dishes for you. We're gonna do quinoa stuffed egg corn squash. That's right. It is delicious, nutritious, and fun for the whole family. All right, let's get started though. So what we're gonna do is, I have some beautiful, beautiful egg corn squash. And if you're asking yourself, why do they call them egg corn squash? It's because it looks like an egg corn. So we're gonna take about a quarter inch off the top. We're gonna take about a quarter inch off the bottom, help it stay flat. Perfect, all right? That is what you're looking for right there. All right, so the next step is we're gonna go ahead and core out our egg corn squash, right? So we're just gonna take a little teaspoon and you'll be able to see the flesh is real soft right in the inside. So we're gonna stick our spoon in and we're just gonna make a circular motion and we're just gonna pull out those seeds. Now that we have the hole in there, we can just scoop the rest of the seeds out. Lots of seeds, Loski, but seeds are what give us life. If we didn't have seeds, we wouldn't have anything, then love. Seeds and bees make the world go round. All right, now that you have all of the seeds and inner guts out of your acorn squash, and then we have a tiny bit of uh, maple syrup that I'm just gonna go ahead and glaze the inside of this with. Got my handy little brush. We're gonna go ahead and season these bad boys up. So we're gonna take that warm apple pie, and we're just gonna give it a liberal shake right over the top. And we're gonna hit it with a little bit of the heifer's dust. And these egg corn squash are about ready to go on the grill. We have the RT700 set at 425 degrees. It's gonna take about 35 to 45 minutes to get these squash fork tender. Then we're gonna remove them, and we're gonna stuff them with our stuffing. Let's go. So we got those egg corn squash on and they are roasting. They're gonna take about 35 to 45 minutes to become fork tender. But while we're waiting on those to finish, we're gonna go ahead and make our stuffing. All right, so what I've got here is that delicious, awesome super grain quinoa. That's right, so we're gonna be using that. I've got a little bit of cranberry. I've got some sauteed onions, some sauteed celery. I've got a little bit of sauteed mushrooms, cinnamon, some ground sage, and some fresh garlic. That's right. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and mix this up. Oh man, you know what I forgot? I forgot an apple. Thanks, bro. We're gonna go ahead and do a large dice on this Granny Smith green apple. Now we'll go ahead and throw this in. I'm gonna hit it with a little bit more of that warm apple pie. So delicious, right over the top. And why not, since we're doing it, we'll throw a little bit more heifer dust in too. Now we're gonna give this one more mix. Mm, that smells delicious. All right, this holiday delicious treat is almost ready. We're just gonna wait on that acorn squash to finish up and then it's time for stuffing. Man, these egg corn squash came out delicious. Nice and steamy. You can see they're still hot and beautiful. Okay, last step in these delicious quinoa egg corn squash. We're gonna take that filling, that beautiful filling we had, and we're just gonna spoon it straight in here, making sure that we get a little bit of apple, some cranberry, some of that mushroom, and loads of that delicious quinoa. All right, we're gonna wanna pack this down a little bit. 
looks. Beautiful, guys. And see how easy that was? Quick, simple, and delicious. That's how we do it here at Rectech. All right, so I have my RT700 set at 375 degrees. I'm gonna go ahead and put the egg corn squash back on the grill, let them cook for about another 20 minutes just to make sure the center is nice and hot. But you gotta remember, we already cooked all. The quinoa is cooked. All the vegetables are cooked. So this thing is ready to go. Come on, but let's go back out to the grill. Guys, it smells delicious in this kitchen. A really sweet smell that's imparted to some of those Kingsford maple pellets that we cooked this stuff with. I have hints of that cranberry, that Granny Smith apple. We have that sage in there, the cinnamon, the warm apple pie, the honey rib rub. We even brushed it with a little bit of maple syrup. It looks delicious. I'm ready to dive right in. Man, I mean, I can't say enough about this gluten-free, vegan-friendly. Mm. That is fun for the whole family right there. Make this your next side for your holiday meal. And don't forget, subscribe to Kingsford and RecTech's YouTube channel. And we'll see you guys at the RecTech.